I'm getting ready to start trying to glue together my pieces for the Kintsugi project. And I'm just trying to make sure I've got a good amount of glue. It's going to be, I want to keep this nice and thick so that it's easy to apply. And I think I'm just going to use this flat one. I'm just going to try to pick out two of the pieces that need to go back together and figure out where they fit, um, which is looking like it may not be quite as easy as I had hoped. <laughs> so let's find the other piece. So I think it, if you remember when I cut these apart, they were not as dry as they needed to be, so they they broke a little bit differently than I would have liked. So it looks like these, these pieces may kind of go together here, so that's what I'm going to aim for. So again, want to have the Kintsugi looking like the metallic glue, you know, the lacquer or enamel, I should say, mixed with the metal powder. So I'm just going to take some of my metallic paint and mix it with the glue. And remember, the glue will dry clear. So even though right now it looks rather white, it probably is really just a metallic look. So I'm just going to pick two of my pieces that seem to fit together best. And it does look like it might be these two, but I'm just going to test again one more time. It might actually be this way. It actually looks like it goes better like this. So I'm just going to glue these two by putting glue here and here and then attaching them and letting them sit for a while. So remember that we want to have the metallic glue showing on both sides of the pieces. So when we attach them, you want to see some of that glue oozing out in between. So we may have to go back in, whoops, upside down. Oops, it's supposed to go this way. Sorry. So that's the other thing when you when you when you work on it you want to really pay attention to where the pieces are and where they go and make sure that you're just getting the glue where you want it. So I'm going to attach these two pieces. Well, maybe it is this way. I guess it is like this. It was right the first time. And then I can just get this other piece in there as well. I'm just going to make sure I have enough glue. And then because of the way mine was broken, I'm going to let this dry a bit before I try to add more pieces on. So I want to get this base together and really make sure that it's holding before I add anything else. So I'm just going to kind of hold that in place. And while, while that's gluing, I may just go back in and just kind of drip some more glue in place to hold it so that when this dries we're going to have those really nice looking metallic lines in between that are just going to show where the repair went and give us a sense of how it was fixed. And so chances are you're going to have to go into this with two different size brushes. So the, the little brush will get into some of those smaller locations. And then you can go back in and re, just refill in your seams so that you have that beautiful metallic look in between. If you, if you have a toothpick at home also, that will work nicely to kind of guide the metallic glue and fill in the spaces. But you can see it's filling in somewhat nicely. 
and it's starting to stick together pretty quickly much more quickly than I expected but I'm going to let these pieces sit and dry before I try to attach any others but this is really how you just want to get it started you just want to start by grabbing your pieces and adding that glue wherever there's a little bit of a break and you might have some, like I, I'm pretty sure in here that the piece is going to be missing I don't even know if it was a missing piece or if when I cut it or I changed the structure so for right now I'm just trying to fill in wherever there's a little bit of a gap with the metallic same thing here with this so where, wherever there was a break I want to fill it in with the metallic paint and glue mix so just go very very carefully and then after you have that first repair part done let it sit and dry and then go back and find your other pieces that go next so this way it'll dry as neatly as possible and you'll know what happens next so let's just see when, when that dries it should look much more metallic than it does right now and you can see the you know the the metallic and glue filled in those broken areas and they seem to be mending pretty nicely but i'm just going to leave this for now and after it dries a little bit more then I'll go back in and add more pieces. So I would say this would be another one of those slow process things where you can just, you know, put some pieces together, let them sit, let them dry. And after they've dried, you could go back and mix some more glue with some of your metallic paint and then just continue your repair work so that you're not rushing the process. Anything that's broken, it's going to take time to repair. That would be metaphorically and actually. So think about that as it's sitting, think about which piece comes next. And um, also, you know, if you have any areas that are not so neatly applied, go back and fix them, clean them up. Um, I would try to clean them up a little bit while they're still wet, but you can, you can always get them later if you need to. But I think sometimes, you know, whatever you can clean while it's wet usually is a better bet. All right, so I'm going to let that sit. And while that's happening, I'm going to go clean my brushes. So again, you always wanna clean the brushes with soap and water to get the excess glue out so you don't end up damaging the brush. That's it.